Air USA has a policy of booking as many as 24 persons on an airplane that can seat only 22. Past studies have revealed that only 89% of the booked passengers actually arrive for the flight. Find the probability that if Air USA books 24 persons, not enough seats will be available. All right, so think about it for a second. There's 24 people that get a ticket, but there's only 22 seats. And we want to know the probability that there will not be enough seats. So what we want to know is the probability of booking more than 22 people, or that rather that more than 22 people will show up. So that would be 23 people or 24 people. Okay, so the probability of overbook or not enough seats because they've already overbooked it would be equal to the probability of 22 or no, 23 or 24. So we can use the addition rule if we can find the probability of 23 plus the probability of 24, since it's an or question, we add the probabilities, uh, there would not be any overlap. You either get exactly 23 people showing up or exactly 24 people showing up. So what we can do is use the binomial distribution. We're not going to construct the whole distribution, but we'll start by just making a place for the probability of 23 and the probability of 24 people showing up. So if I use my n, my p, and my q, and there are 24 passengers that received tickets, so there's 24 trials. The probability that each person shows up is supposed to be 0.89 here. So 0.89, Q is 1 minus P, probability that they don't show up. And if we use the binomial distribution with 23 successes, 24 trials, make that an absolute reference, probability of success with an absolute reference, and false for cumulative, since we want a probability of exactly 23 and exactly 24 then the sum is going to give me my answer. Sum of these two. All right, so there's my probability, 0 0.24, uh, 1961. Okay, now is this probability low enough so that Overbooking is not a real concern for passengers if you define unusual as 5% or less. Well, that's a pretty high probability right there. So yet, yeah, uh, no, it is not low enough to not be considered a concern. What about defining unusual as 10% or less? Still, it's too high. Now, in some of these um, versions of this question, it'll give you, you'll end up with a probability that's less than 10% but not less than 5%. So you might get different answers on each part of this. But in this version, we ended up saying no in both parts. Okay, now uh, let's do a new version. Just try one more. So this time we have 20, 20 persons on an airplane that can seat only 19. The probability of success is 0.88. And if it's going to be over, if there's not going to be enough seats, and we have 20 people with tickets and only 19 seats, then all we need is the probability of 20 people showing up. So this is an even simpler version of the question. 20, we don't have to do any adding. And so we can just change this to 20 and get our answer of 0 
0.563. And that high probability, if we consider 5% unusual, 5% or less, we'd say, no, it's not low enough. And what about if 10% or less was considered unusual, then yes, it would be low enough in that case.